Hey guys, we're just here today to talk about kipping pull-ups and progressions to get you there. So we're going to start off with what is kipping. So what Ben is going to do in a second is jump up on the bar. But kipping itself is the motion between a hollow and an arch, which creates the momentum to get yourself into a pull-up easier than strict. So Ben's going to hop himself up onto the bar. As you can see, he is going backwards and forwards through that hollow and arch position. You can see his feet come back in the hollow. Yeah. So, the reason people generally want to do kitten pull-ups is, one, it looks sexy, and you can get your pull-ups done faster. Downside is, you're then going to start hurting your shoulders if you haven't got the strength to do them, or the flexibility. So, what we do use is the level method, progressions, just to get you to that motion safely. So, what we'll do is we'll go over to the board and we'll have a look at that now. So, as you can see on our upper body pull section here on the level method, our variations start with ring rows. So, top line is male and bottom line is female. So, we start with three, eight, and then for the men, and then one, three, and eight for the women. As we go along, we then move into a dead hang hold for multiple seconds, either five or 15. We then move further along, and we start with scat pull-ups. So, this is starting to get some activation of the lats. After that, we move to a chin over bar hold. Again, five or 15 seconds. Following that, we start moving on to negatives now. So this is the controlled lowering of that movement. Then we move on to strict chin-ups. So for gentlemen, you'll do one strict chin-up and then you move on to pull-ups after that. Ladies, you start to alternate between chin-ups and pull-ups, just building that strength as you can see along there. So what happens after this is we start working on multiple strict pull-ups without dropping. Gentlemen, you will work your way up to seven in a row, ladies four. After that, we then move on to weighted strict pull-ups. At this point here, we are trying to build that shoulder strength that will allow you the strength to kip without injuring yourself. So guys, we're gonna run through all of those progressions now. So we're gonna start off with the ring rows. As you can see with Ben here, Gets himself to around a 45 degree angle, lowers himself down and pulls back in. Obviously with these, we can make them more difficult by getting yourself nice and low, as you can see there, and accruing more muscle in there. So, what we'll do is we're now going to go onto the dead hand hold. So, Ben's gonna hop himself up onto the bar, and just in that passive motion, so he's not pulling through his shoulders, but he is still keeping himself in a generally straight, Position. Next, he's going to go to scat pull ups. So he's going to turn himself around. The scat pull up is the shoulder blades pulling in together, your lats turning on, so those muscles in the side of your back and arms. And as you can see, he's nice and controlled there. So the next one he's going to do is a chin over bar hold. So he's going to get himself up there. If you notice, he's changed his grip this time. So he's now got a chin up or supinated grip. That makes it a little bit easier in that position. Once you've then mastered the scat pull, it is our next. So he's gonna pop himself up to the top. He will lower himself down for five seconds, all the way down to the bottom of that motion. And then he would jump back up and do it again. We would look for two sets of five, five second negatives there. Following that, he will now go into a chin up so starting from that dead hang hold, so you can see he's right at the bottom in that passive position, all the way up over the top. Notice how he doesn't just drop as well from the top. Following that, we're gonna jump into pull-ups. So these are strict. Same again, he's gonna pop himself up. He's changed his grip back around this time. He will pull all the way up, chin over the bar, and back down. So the final one that Ben is going to do now is a weighted strict pull-up. So he's gonna pop himself up. And again, he's gonna pull all the way up, chin over the bar, and then back down. For this one, you will only need to do a single, but over time, you will progress in weight till you can get to a 0.7 of your body weight on there for gentlemen, and a 0.55 for women. So a couple of last points here, guys. Basically, for us to allow you to do any kipping pull-ups in a workout, we would look for you to get to the purple two level on the level method map and also show some flexibility in there. 
it's fair enough having that strength but if you can't actually move in that range of motion comfortably we don't want you doing this because you are going to hurt yourself there will be a video to follow this and it will be on progressions of the kip so we will show you some flexibility movements and we'll show you how to kip with a bit more slow motion in there for you guys cheers now